Hi, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how we will bill or process a veterans affairs patient. So we can see here that my patient Maurice Poppy has a concession. He's a vet affairs. He's a, a, a DVA recipient. So I'm going to select him and then process the visit. So down the bottom, visit F5. Now this is a little bit different. So you can see the invoice too has automatically changed to vet affairs because in our um, patient details screen, which we could go to here, if we brought up uh, Maurice, Pori, uh, Pop, Maurice Poppy, we would see that he's a vet affairs um, recipient. So I'm just going to double check that vet affairs. Now the fees are slightly different for the item numbers are the same, but the fee changes. So for this in instance, um, he's just going to be charged a item number 23. We can see there's the bulk billing incentive. So it's an after hours service in eligible areas. This is not applicable for this example. So I'm just going to untick apply incentive to remove that. So it's item number 23. It's a level B surgery, so under 20 minutes long. The fee is $39.10. Now I'm not sure if that's the current fee rate. Um, we do need to change this fee rate though. So we would change the fee rate to vet affairs or the veteran fee and it's $45. Now, if I wanted to confirm that this is correct, I could go to this website, which is the dva.gov.au, and it's the fee schedules for GPs and specialists. And I could look at this updated um, document for the fees. So... General Practitioner Fee Schedule. So it might look a little bit confusing. So I can see item number 23, the GP fee is $45. So in this case, our Praxoft is correct. So $45. Now with DVA, there is no gap. We're claiming that amount from the Department of Veterans Affairs. So I'm happy with that. And you can see because it is Vet Affairs, there's no payment options. So all I'm going to do is do voucher. I'll get a PDF and I can save it. Maurice Poppy. Okay, and he's been removed from the waiting room. Thanks for watching.